Western Governor University's annual poll on higher education in Texas is out and here to discuss the findings. With us is Dr. Stephen Johnson, Chancellor at Western Governors University, and Dr. Jim Henson, UT lecturer and director of the Texas Politics Project. Good morning to both good morning, of you. Good morning, good uh, morning. This just came out yesterday is what you were saying? Yes. So we released the poll yesterday and so we're going around talking about results that talk about that uh, underline how much Texans value higher education, uh, how they think it's important for the economy, uh, but also that they have concerns about cost and, and student debt. Uh, can you break down those results for us, Dr. Henson? Yeah, uh, one of the most interesting things that we saw was that over the life of the poll, this is the third that we've done, over 70% consistently think that student debt is a major problem, but we also know that 90% feel like uh, an educated workforce is vitally important to the state's economy. And then in between there, we find that people have anxieties about cost and that, that they see that as the chief obstacle. 66% say that um, the cost of an education is the thing that is really preventing them from getting a degree. That's 66% of those people that don't have a college degree. And, Dr. and WGU Texas is a model that, that tries to affect that for what we like to call contemporary students. They're older, uh, they're working full time, um, but they have family and sometimes financial situations that make traditional university uh, education out of reach. And so the WG model helped those folks exactly what Dr. Henson's talking about. Well, and you talked about financial anxiety. That is one of the big ones uh, because if you, you're, you will accumulate a large amount of student debt. Well, I mean, I think one of the things is that people feel a little bit stuck between two sets of attitudes. One, this idea that people really think that completing a college degree is both good for them professionally and personally, and they also think that education is going to be important throughout their life. So for adult learning, people that are in jobs and need additional skills, but there are these concerns, not, not only about debt, but just about cost and about being able to find the right you know, delivery system for them to continue uh, in trying to either complete degrees or add education to that that they already have. Right. And you talk about this being for contemporary students. Yeah. How easy is it to uh, uh, to get an online degree? It might not be as easy if we're going to a traditional university. Sure, sure. Well, what's unique about the WG model is that we hold the learning outcomes constant, but let the time fluctuate. So demonstrate competencies as quickly as they can and achieve their degree quickly. Uh, the average time to baccalaureate degree for a WGU Texas student is less than two years. Uh, for a master's, it's just over a year. So it's a model that allows them to advance quickly. I'd also echo what Dr. Henson said in terms of the economy. So it is important to individuals, but it's critically important for the state, too, that we have a highly educated, well-trained uh, workforce so that we can continue to attract the types of business and, and see the Texas economy grow. And finally, the bottom line, Dr. Henson? Well, I think the bottom line is that Higher, you know, the, the public wants to keep higher ed on the agenda. They think it's important. They want access, and they want to make sure that they and people and their children, there's some items in here about high school students entering college, have access to a diverse uh, arena of, of choices in higher education that fit people at different stages of their lives. And something for the future. Thank you both so Thank much. You. I hope this information helps, especially coming with the next legislative session. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. Thanks so much. Absolutely.